Hello, welcome to the Python for Artificial Intelligence video series. I'm Joshua Eckroth. First, a little bit about me. I got my PhD in Artificial Intelligence at The Ohio State University, where I worked on abductive reasoning and meta-reasoning. I'm currently an assistant professor of computer science at Stetson University, and I'm concurrently chief architect at I2K Connect. Stetson University is a small liberal arts college in Central Florida. There, I teach a range of courses, including a senior level AI course, and I perform research. And in both cases, I use a lot of the tools and libraries and techniques that we're gonna cover in this video series. Now an outline for this video course. In project one, we're gonna look at just overview of classification and then look at classification techniques with trees. We're gonna look at decision trees and random forests. We're gonna use scikit-learn, a Python library. We're gonna use scikit-learn in a lot of these projects. It's a very versatile library, very popular for artificial intelligence work. In this project, we're going to have two examples, predicting a child's success in school and predicting bird species from descriptive attributes. Project two will be working with text. Text is interesting because you have to transform the text first in order to get it into a list of numbers to use traditional techniques like trees. To transform text, we're gonna look at bag of words models and word to vec models. We're going to detect YouTube comment spam. And we're gonna look at sentiment analysis or looking at positive negative sentiment. We'll look at reviews on Amazon, IMDb, and Yelp and identify if they're positive or negative. Project three, we're gonna get into deep learning. Deep learning is a very popular technique right now because it's solving a lot of problems that couldn't be solved any other way. We're going to identify handwritten mathematical symbols, like you might write on a notebook, but have the computer recognize what those are. We're going to identify objects in personal photos. TensorFlow will be the Python library. Keras is also a Python library that works on top of TensorFlow, makes it a bit easier to use. And Keras has built-in support for convolutional neural networks, which learn the transformations of the image in order to classify it. And Keras and TensorFlow are going to make extensive use of GPUs. 